Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Glad to have you on the channel today. And today we are gonna cover a very important topic when it comes to assembly items, how do you break them back apart? So if you saw the last video, we created an assembly item and we put together our assembly, we built our little project and we created 10 of them. And now we are gonna talk about what if you need to take these back apart and re enter the quantities from them back into inventory. Before we do that, don't forget to click on the link below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions, talk about errors, workflow, training, request a video for this channel, or what have you. People such as me or other community members will respond back to you and we'll be all in this together. Otherwise, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos all the time. All right, let's get down to it. In our previous video, we made a GoGo What's It, which was a wonderful electronic device that was comprised of all of these parts and pieces, and we put it together and we populated 10 new products from our ingredient items. I, I can't think of a better word than ingredient items or materials to, that you put together to make a final product. So let's see here. All right, so we can see that the GoGo -Go What's It has 10 on hand. Now, we just figured out that five of these 10 were actually assembled improperly. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them back apart and put the pieces back in their bins. I guess that, that, could, be, that could be real life, I'm not sure, but we're gonna do it. So we are gonna select the GoGo -Go What's It, which is an assembly item and we're gonna show details, and then we are going to click on the assembly button, and here we have all of our pieces. It's kind of our recipe for making this, and I'm gonna hit edit assembly, and here we can see we have 10 on hand, and this is what they are all made of. Now we are going to hit the break button, and it's gonna say, well, this is multi-store, so I'm on multi-store, you might not see this screen, it's just asking where this operation is happening at. Uh, I'm just gonna do it in store number one because that's where my 10 items are. And it's gonna ask me how many we wanna break up. The maximum number that are already assembled that we can break is 10. Well, five of these went bad. I'm gonna say we wanna break up five of them. I'm gonna hit the break button and five assemblies have now been broken down into their individual quantities. We hit OK. We can see on hand up here is five. I'm gonna hit save and we're down back down to five. I'm gonna close the details pane here and you may or may not have noticed how many pieces and parts were here beforehand, but I will, you, I will assure you that um, all of the pieces from these assemblies have now been populated back to on hand quantities for the materials that made those five. And there you have it. That's how you break up assemblies and you put them back into actual different pieces and parts instead of being a single assembly item. Now they are back in their original format of separate parts. My name's Peter with Black Rock Business. Thanks for coming along this wild journey about breaking up assembly items in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll be sure to answer them. You have yourself a stupendous evening. Bye-bye.